Hey, Nick here from Couchbase. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Couchbase Mobile and how you can uh, use it in your Ionic Framework uh, mobile application. Uh, so it, we're not going to talk about necessarily how to uh, create an app from scratch. I'm just going to give you an overview on what can be done using the two uh, utilities. So just a, just a background here uh, in case you're unfamiliar. So what exactly is Couchbase Mobile? So Couchbase Mobile can be broken up into two main components here, starting with Couchbase Lite. So Couchbase Lite is a NoSQL mobile database uh, that gets embedded within your application. Uh, so you're not going to be using uh, SQL Lite, you're not going to be using core data, uh, you're going to be using an embedded instance of Couchbase Lite. Uh, so it's document oriented and schemaless. Uh, so you're not you're not dealing with the traditional uh, rows and columns that you might find in a relational database like SQLite. Instead, you're going to be storing JSON data. Uh, many of you might be familiar with JSON through uh, JavaScript or uh, RESTful APIs. Uh, both both tend to often use uh, JSON. Uh, Catchbase Lite also is a uh, has a very small footprint. Uh, so it's not going to bloat your application. It's going to your your application is going to uh, have a very small uh, file size in the end, um, and it runs in process. So as soon as you launch your application, uh, Couchbase starts running in its own separate process, uh, and can even be communicated with uh, through the use of local REST APIs. The second component uh, of Couchbase Mobile is the Couchbase Sync Gateway. The Sync Gateway is responsible for data replication uh, between Couchbase server and your device. So it'll replicate data or synchronize data from your device to the server as well as from the server back down to your device. And that will work with uh, many different users uh, and all the, all the data orchestration will be handled internally by the Sync Gateway uh, and overall Couchbase Mobile. Uh, and that includes uh, uh, authentication and authorization uh, so that way not all data goes to all users. Uh, it gets orchestrated between the users that you specify uh, through through a configuration file. So with that said, uh, what is Ionic Framework? In case uh, you might be unfamiliar with what Ionic Framework is. So Ionic Framework is an HTML5 and Angular JS framework. Uh, it's built on Apache Cordova and it uses the build once deploy everywhere strategy. So you can build uh, one code set uh, using HTML5 and AngularJS and then when you go to deploy uh, that code that you've created uh, you can deploy it to both Android and iOS so you don't need to know Objective-C and you don't need to know Java you just need to know JavaScript and HTML5 uh, and the good thing about Ionic Framework is it accepts Apache Cordova plugins so out of the box Ionic Framework is very lightweight it doesn't ship with all features uh, so that's where uh, that's where Apache Cordova plugins come in. So say you wanted to use the camera, um, that doesn't ship with Ionic Framework. You've got to install the plugin, and once you do that, uh, you can start using the device camera. And that's where we jump into uh, the Couchbase Cordova plugin that gives you the ability to use Couchbase Lite in your in your mobile application. So the Couchbase Lite plugin is compatible with uh, both Android and iOS. Uh, and it makes Couchbase Lite accessible via RESTful APIs, like I mentioned previously. Uh, so, uh, if you ch if you didn't want to uh, communicate to Couchbase Lite through RESTful APIs, there is the uh, ng Couchbase Lite wrapper library, which is an Angular JS JavaScript library, uh, which makes it so that way you can access the features of Couchbase Lite through functions uh, rather than RESTful API calls. And so now that we have kind of a brief understanding of what exactly Couchbase is and um, what exactly Ionic Framework is, uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do uh, with this with this framework and Couchbase included. So right here I have on my screen, I have two simulators open. I have uh, an Android simulator on the right and I have an iOS simulator on the left. Both are using the same code set, uh, and it's they're both created with Ionic Framework. So if I go ahead, I I've chosen to 
not use any kind of authentication in this particular app. I've chosen to allow guest access, so anyone can access all data. So I went ahead and I clicked uh, guest login on both. And as you can see, this is essentially just a basic to-do list application. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose to add a new to-do list item. And please ignore uh, if my Android simulator is a bit slow. It, it has been uh, the past few days. It's not, uh, it's not the app that's slow, it's my simulator. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new uh, to-do list. So I'm going to call this my personal to-do list. And I'm going to click OK. So you can see after I've clicked OK, it added uh, pretty much instantly uh, to the iOS simulator. Uh, it took a little longer again on the Android simulator because it's, it's running a little slow, but in, in reality, uh, it's instant. It's pretty instant. And this, this orchestration of data, again, happens through the cache based sync gateway, which I actually have in a web browser here, uh, the admin side of it. So you can see that, that the data uh, is, is saved. So if I go ahead, say I want to uh, add another item, I'm going to at this time add it from iOS. I can say uh, work. I'll call this one my work list. Click OK. It added there, and it added in Android as well. So taking it a step further, uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll say we'll click on personal from the Android side, uh, and we want to add a new task. Not a to-do list item, but a task item. So we can say, let's say I want to wash my car. Click OK. And now if I come into my iOS simulator and click OK, uh, the personal list, you can see that it's already there. It's already been synchronized. Um, I, I don't have to worry about um, controlling my data. Catchbase will handle all of that for me. So I've also we also have a delete feature here. If I swipe to the left uh, using, uh, in this case, my mouse, but in reality you'd be using your finger to, to swipe. Uh, this is a nice feature of Ionic Framework uh, for swipeable list items. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the delete. It deleted it from both, uh, both simulators in this case, just the task item, not the, not the actual to-do list. So now that you kind of have an idea of what happens uh, from a front-end level, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the code level. So starting with uh, the HTML side of things, uh, we have a base HTML uh, template, which is our index.html file. It's essentially just here to have all of our script and CSS includes. And then everything else is broken down uh, using the AngularJS UI router uh, into separate partial files or template files. In this case, for example, we have a to-do list partial file, uh, which is responsible for all the UI related to showing list items. And you can see it, it's, it's essentially just HTML uh, with AngularJS. I mean, it has uh, a few uh, Ionic specific tags, uh, but they are uh, XML in structure, so it, it's very, very similar to HTML. Uh, jumping away from the HTML side of things, uh, all of our logic uh, is inside of our app.js file. Uh, it doesn't have to be, it could be broken up further, uh, but in this case it is. Uh, we have uh, all of our code is broken up into uh, controllers, and then our controllers have functions uh, for handling things in the view. But uh, so, for example, uh, skipping over all of the initialization stuff. For example, our login controller uh, was responsible for starting replication between our Couchbase Lite app and the Sync Gateway. Uh, the to-do list controller is responsible for listening for changes that might have been pulled in uh, from the server, uh, as well as uh, push things up if we've chosen to uh, insert data. Uh, and it also has uh, ability to delete data. And pretty similarly, uh, the task controller uh, does essentially the same thing, uh, but in this case, it, it doesn't get list items, uh, it gets task items. And the good thing about this code uh, is you can actually get the full project uh, through the Couchbase Labs GitHub uh, account. 
So if you go to GitHub and then Couchbase Labs and then to-do light hyphen ionic, you can download the full source code to this repository and you can download uh, the Couchbase Sync Gateway and Couchbase Lite. It, they're both uh, open source uh, and play around with it yourself. And uh, there are two blog posts up on the Couchbase blog uh, which will give specific instructions on uh, what everything does and what everything means.